This is James Biden, the little brother of the resident of the United States, Joe Biden. Back in 2018, James Biden was doing business with a company called AmeriCorps Health LLC. According to a 2022 lawsuit, James Biden procured $600,000 in loans from AmeriCorps Health based on representations that his name Biden could open doors and that he could obtain a large investment from the Middle East based on his political connections. Political connections, political... I, I wonder if one of those political connections would be former Vice President Joe Biden. Nah, it couldn't possibly. So I know what you're asking. What does any of this have to do with Joe Biden? Like, you know, in a direct way. Well, here's the chair of the House Oversight Committee, James Comer, to explain. On March 1st, 2018, AmeriCorps wired a $200,000 loan into James and Sarah Biden's personal bank account, not their business bank account. And then on the very same day, James Biden wrote a $200,000 check from this same personal bank account to Joe Biden. And if you examine the physical check, James Biden wrote for loan repayment. So Joe Biden gave a loan to his brother James for $200,000. And then James paid Joe back using money from another loan with the company he was working with. Makes sense to me, what's your problem? AmeriCorps, a distressed company, loaned money to James Biden, who then sent it to Joe Biden. Even if this was a personal loan repayment, it's still troubling that Joe Biden's ability to be paid back by his brother depended on the success of his family's shady financial dealings. AmeriCorps Health claims that they were forced into bankruptcy, in part because of James Biden not delivering on those shady financial dealings. Instead of complying with his fiduciary responsibilities, James Biden helped AmeriCorps procure an ill-advised bridge loan from a hedge fund that had a deleterious impact on the financial affairs of AmeriCorps and ultimately forced them into bankruptcy, as he never delivered from the promised large investment from the Middle East. Now, if you follow me on X, and why wouldn't you, you would have seen me talking about this whole thing. And one of my followers asked the following, did James pay back that loan to the company? If so, I'm struggling to see the issue. Well, the answer to that question is no. James Biden didn't pay back the loan. At the time of the lawsuit, James Biden never repaid the loans to AmeriCorps Health, including during the time that AmeriCorps Health were strapped for cash. Despite trustees' demand, James Biden had failed and refused to return the transfers to the trustee. So how did that lawsuit end? Well, AmeriCorps and James Biden would eventually agree to a settlement payment for $350,000 which means that James Biden got away with not having to pay back $250,000 of a $600,000 loan. And another odd thing about all this is that James Biden disputed his role as a principal at AmeriCorps Health. In response, the only proof of employment that AmeriCorps could come up with were business cards with James Biden's name on them. So there's no employment contract or payroll stubs or tax forms, but there's evidence that AmeriCorps gave James Biden loans. In my opinion, it sounds less like he was employed there and more like he was shaking down the company for money using the Biden brand. Some immediate questions President Biden must answer for the American people. Does he have documents proving he lent such a large sum of money to his brother? And what were the terms of such financial agreement? I think that we can assume that outside of a canceled check or wire transfer information, that there are no such documents. Joe Biden probably wouldn't have whipped up a loan contract or demanded an IOU, so it's kind of a stretch to suggest that that thing exists, even though it should. But who knows? Anyway, the usual Democrat suspects immediately came to Joe Biden's defense, because of course they did. Per usual, GOP oversight is blatantly misleading the public. James Comer concealed a $200,000 loan from Joe Biden to his brother six weeks before his brother repaid him. So what Dan Goldman is saying is that Joe Biden loaned his brother $200,000 and James paid it back in six weeks? 
That alone should raise some eyebrows. Hey, Joe, can you loan me a couple hundred grand? I got something in the works and need some pocket money until it kicks in. Come on, man. Ian Sams, the senior advisor to the White House Counsel's Office, wrote, Jamie Comer is pretty desperate to try and distract from Republican speaker mess. And clearly, Ian Sams is desperate to move negative attention away from his boss, President Biden, but whatever. It's a loan repayment from when President Biden loaned his brother money, when he was out of office in 2018, no less. It's right there on the check. Guys, he wrote loan repayment in the memo line of the check, which everyone knows is legally binding. Because if you don't write down exactly what the check is for, absolutely nothing will happen to you. James Biden took a loan out from AmeriCorps when rates were at a near 40-year low and used that money to pay back his brother. In fact, the actual check even states that it's for a loan repayment. Family members borrow money all the time from other family members. Many times they will seek to get a bank loan to pay back the family member. But of course, Brian Krasenstein was so eager to simp for Joe Biden that he literally just made stuff up that makes absolutely no sense. Interest rates were low, so James Biden went to the bank and took out a loan. Except, of course, AmeriCorps isn't a bank, it's a healthcare company. Furthermore, why would James have to borrow money from Joe if he had access to these low interest rate loans? And one major detail that these Joe Biden sycophants are ignoring is that James Biden received not one, but two separate loans from AmeriCorps. According to their lawsuit against James Biden, the first loan was on January 12th, 2018. And according to defenders of the Bidens, less than a week later, Joe Biden would give James that $200,000 loan. Which means that within a week, James Biden would procure $600,000 in loans from two different sources. No, not suspicious at all. And I have to ask the following. A, what did James Biden need $600,000 for? Seriously, what were the loans for? And B, when Joe Biden lent his brother the $200,000, what did Joe Biden think that James was going to use it for? These are two basic yet very important questions that no one is asking. Well, no one except for me, which is why I'm the top senior political analyst on YouTube. Okay, moving on. Then, on March 1st, just one and a half months after receiving a $400,000 loan from AmeriCorps, James Biden would procure a second loan for $200,000. And again, James Biden took that $200,000 from AmeriCorps and used it to pay back Joe Biden the same exact day. It is not a coincidence. I've obtained documents showing Joe Biden made two loans to his brother James. One in July 2017 for $40,000, and a second in January 2018 for $200,000 that were paid back in full without interest within two months. The loans took place when Joe wasn't in office or a candidate for one. I've obtained documents, Aaron Rupar says. Yeah, sure, great. Show them to us, Aaron. I mean, it shouldn't be hard if they actually exist, right? And of course, Aaron Rupar has no problem whatsoever with the whole influencing peddling aspect of all of this. Dr. Mohanad F. Azam, who filed a lawsuit against James Biden, among others, recalled a telephone conversation in 2018 where Mr. Biden told Azam and his business partner that his company's psychiatric care model would be used by Joe Biden as part of his campaign for President of the United States or words to that effect. At the time, Joe Biden was reportedly preparing to enter the presidential campaign, but he had not yet officially declared it. And we have already known now for a long time that Joe Biden has lied over and over again about being involved in the Biden family businesses. That is indisputable. And sworn testimony from James Biden's business partners is just further evidence that throws a wrench into the whole Joe Biden wasn't a candidate yet, defense. Ian Sams wrote in a statement, After rummaging through thousands of pages of a private citizen's bank records, they have again turned up zero evidence of wrongdoing by President Biden. 
And that's because there is none. President Biden didn't do anything wrong. This entire exercise has become a self-debunking wild goose chase that's only turning up evidence that President Biden did nothing wrong. But Ian Sams is leaving out the fact that private citizen James Biden was running around making promises regarding private citizen Joe Biden and his upcoming presidential campaign. Here's another example. James Biden mentioned that his brother's connections to labor unions and the Department of Veterans Affairs would help Azam's company expand its model nationwide. James Biden didn't mention his connections. He specifically mentioned Joe Biden's connections. This is influence peddling of the Biden brand in its purest form. So one of two things is happening. A, Joe Biden knew that his family was using Joe Biden's name to influence peddle and strike business deals, which would mean that he's too corrupt to be president. Or B, Joe Biden was completely oblivious to all of it, which means he's too stupid to be president. Anyway, that's it for now. Remember to follow me on X at Don't Walk Run and be sure to subscribe to the channel. As always, thanks for tuning in and I hope to see you next time, if there is next time.